It's an old trick for a new program at the Prince George Victim Services. Animal therapy isn't new, but just recently four-legged members have been added to the force as part of a dog therapy component. Do you like me? Yes. <laughs> There's lots of love at the Prince George attachment these days. Six-year-old Max and four-year-old Grimace are two-thirds of the new therapy dog division. Grimace sits. In September, Victim Services teamed up with Positive Horizons for its first animal therapy program. The dogs are trained to calm and comfort distraught victims. The dogs tend to ground the people very, very quickly. So, in a way that I'm not able to do as a human being. Like when I do um, casework, sometimes it'll take you I don't know, half an hour before you can connect with a client because they're just in such a terrible traumatic state. Whereas when the dogs are, um, are deployed and are working with the people, it's like it's instantaneous. They touch the dog and you can see the calm. Not every pooch is well suited to crisis and temperament is everything before a dog can put on a vest and ID tag. Definitely a sound temperament, so a dog that's not over excitable. Um, a dog that loves the obedience, loves to learn, um, definitely a dog that wants to please its handler um, because even in that situation you have to have that bond with the dog. Bonding involves using German commands to reduce confusion. I got a plan. I got a plan. There, sits. And training is extensive. Every possible crisis situation must be reenacted before a dog can go to a scene. They're always learning. Um, we're always trying to adapt the training to situations that we've come in, um, that are new, that we haven't thought of, or it's a new experience. So then we look at that, um, and we'll look at what kind of training can we do from there. The dogs are especially effective with children and people with disabilities, and seem to instinctively know who to comfort. I don't know how they know, but they just seem to pick up on it. I mean. I was so shocked when he did it that first time because, I mean, that's what they're trained for and that's what you hope is going to happen, but do you know if it's actually going to happen until it's, you know, in play? And it did. While they're technically police service dogs, they're not like the canine unit and you can give these pooches a pet. I was uh, leaving the detachment um, today and somebody said to me, hey, is that a cop dog? And I said, yeah, <laughs> and then they go, can I pet him? I was like, yeah, that's his job. I go, he does the, uh, the softer side of <laughs> policing. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.